In this video, we will show you how to correctly install and commission Coastal's Plenticore G3 inverter. Please note the information relating to installation and proper use of the device. In addition to the inverter, the scope of supply also includes the following accessories. A quick start guide, a wall mount, a drilling template, one DC plug connector per DC input, two plug seals for the cable gland of the network, and signed cables, and a bag containing fastening material. This includes three 6x50 screws, three 8mm Fisher Duo Power screw anchors, and a washer. You will find the inverter's type plate on the bottom of the device on the left. The type plate contains the serial number, technical details, warnings, and the master key, which you will need to log in as installer. The display can be found on the housing side. Here, settings can be configured on the inverter and operating values can be queried. Two LEDs below the display also provide information about the inverter's current operational status. If you wish to connect the Plenticore G3 to the internet via WLAN, ensure that the installation site has a good connection to the WLAN router. The inverter is mounted on the wall using a mounting rail, along with three 6x50 screws and three Fisher Duo Power screw anchors. Never mount the Plenticore G3 on a plaster or wooden base. Attach the wall mount to a secure mounting face. Fit the Plenticore G3 in the mounting rail, and also fix the device at the intended point with a screw and washer. Ensure that the DC switch is in the off position, and that the AC cable is voltage-free and secured to prevent it from being switched back on. Remove the screws from the bottom cover and take off the cover. Squeeze the lock together and remove the cover from the terminal compartment. The device provides various interfaces for connecting to other inverters, sensors, energy meters, or the internet. Release the cable glands union nuts and remove the plug seal on the underside of the Plenticore G3. Now route the AC power cable through the cable glands cable aperture. Reseal the mains cable by again tightly screwing down the sealing ring and union nut with the cable on the inverter. Note the specified torque. Connect the wires of the mains cable to the AC terminal in accordance with the labeling. Insert the individual wires into the large round apertures on the AC terminal. When using cables with fine wires, core end sleeves should be used. The AC cable is now connected. You can fit optional DC overvoltage protection to protect your inverter from overvoltage. To do this, remove the dummy cover on the inverter's terminal compartment and push the DC overvoltage module into the slot until it engages into place. The DC overvoltage module is now installed and is automatically detected in the inverter. No further settings are needed. Alternatively, an external surge protection device can be connected to the inverter. To do this, mount the surge protection device for AC and DC in the control cabinet and connect the communication cable in the inverter to the X402 terminal on the smart communication board. If you have connected a battery to the inverter, it is possible to supply the house grid with energy via PV and battery in the event of a grid failure. This requires a coastal energy meter and the coastal backup switch or another backup box approved by coastal. Fit the coastal backup switch in the control cabinet or power distributor. When connecting, note which connection variant the energy provider specifies. Connect the signal line on the coastal backup switch to the N1 and GND terminals. Route the signal cable from the control cabinet or power distributor to the inverter. Here, connect the signal cable to the X402 terminal. If you want to monitor your home consumption, you'll have to install a Coastal Smart Energy Meter. You also need this energy meter to run a battery on the Plenticore. Please consult the operating manual and the explanatory Coastal videos about the Smart Energy Meter and battery connection for details on how to do this. On the Plenticore G3, you can connect a battery storage system to DC Input 3. However, this can only be done if DC Input 3 has been released for this option. Please refer to the operating manual and the explanatory coastal videos about the battery connection for details on how to release this and how to connect the battery. The communication cable of any optional connected battery is connected to the X601 terminal. Only batteries approved by coastal may be used. You'll find a list of these batteries in the download area for the product. An optional ripple control receiver can be connected to the X401 terminal on the inverter. To do this, mount the ripple control receiver in the control cabinet 
and route the communication cable from the control cabinet into the inverter. The Smart Communication Board is the inverter's communication hub. It can be found above the AC terminal and has several connections. The Ethernet interface allows you to integrate the inverter into your local network. The inverter can use the LAN connection to transmit its data to the portal via the network. The connection also ensures access to the web server. Guide the LAN cable through the cable gland and then through the cable aperture on the inverter. If necessary, replace the plug seal in the cable gland with the appropriate plug seal from the scope of supply. Note the specified torque for the cable gland. Connect the network cable with the RJ45 socket on the smart communication board. Then connect the Ethernet cable on the computer, router, or switch. If you want to connect your inverter to the local grid via WLAN, it is important that the signal quality at the installation site is strong enough. The connection to the router can be configured during the initial installation or later via the inverter's web server. Please consult the operating manual for full details on how to connect via WLAN. Tighten all cable glands and check that they are well sealed. Mount the cover flap for the terminal compartment and engage into place. Screw the housing cover onto the inverter again. Now connect the PV cables with the inverter. The Plenticore G3 uses SunClicks type plug connectors. To quickly and easily connect the PV strings to the inverter, please use the pairs of SunClicks plugs provided. Before connecting the DC plugs of the PV strings, move the DC switch onto the inverter into the OFF position. Connect the sockets and plugs to the DC inputs. Note, before connecting, check the polarity of the DC cables and system voltage. The poles of the PV strings must not be earthed. The UDC maximum system voltage must not be exceeded. You'll find these values in the technical data. Before connecting the DC battery plugs, move the DC switch onto the inverter into the OFF position. Switch the battery switch to OFF. Connect the sockets and plugs to the DC3 input. Note the instructions provided by the battery manufacturer. Activate the AC fuse and or battery and move the DC switch on the Plenticore G3 to the ON position. The inverter can either be commissioned via the inverter display, the web browser, or the Coastal Solar app. We recommend using the Coastal Solar app, which is shown here, for initial commissioning. Download the Coastal Solar app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Launch the Coastal Solar app and log in. If you are not yet registered with the Coastal Solar Terminal, you'll be automatically asked to do so. For initial commissioning, it's important that you are assigned the user role of Installer in the Coastal Solar Terminal. With the Installer role, you automatically get a service code, which is required for commissioning. You can view the service code in the Coastal Solar Terminal by going to My Profile. In the Coastal Solar app, now switch to the Pro app by going to the settings in the top left and activating the Pro app. With the Coastal Pro app, you can book plenty coins, which you can use to redeem the activation codes needed for the inverter in the online shop. You can then store these codes on your smartphone. The inverter is then commissioned using the setup wizard. By going to Scan and Book Plenty Coins, you can add plenty coins to your company account. The added plenty coins can be used to redeem activation codes in the online shop. To do this, scan the code on the plenty coin card and register the card to your company account. You will need a certain number of plenty coins to activate product upgrades, such as the battery function in the inverter. You can also register plenty coins and activate product upgrades for the inverter before commissioning. Using Redeem Plenty Coins, you can activate product upgrades for the inverter. To do this, go to Redeem Plenty Coins and then scan the QR code on the inverter's type plate. You can then choose from the activation codes available for the inverter. Next, select which functions you want to activate for the inverter and confirm the purchase by selecting Redeem Plenty Coins Now. Once you've done this, you'll have purchased the product upgrades for the inverter and can use them during initial commissioning. Go to Retrieve Activation Codes to save the activation codes you have purchased on your smartphone. You can now use these directly during initial commissioning, even if you don't have an active internet connection. Now click on the Start Setup Wizard box and go to Connect WLAN via QR code. Scan the QR code from the display with your smartphone and connect to the inverter's WLAN access port. Then scan the QR code with serial number and master key from the type plate. 
Select the inverter and click on Next. If you have registered with the Coastal Solar Terminal and are assigned to the installer role, the service code is transferred automatically. You can, however, enter it manually too and confirm by selecting Next. Should you see a message indicating that you are not connected to the internet, be sure to remain connected to the inverter's WLAN, otherwise the connection to the inverter will be lost. Under Operating Mode, now select the components that you want to be taken into consideration during the setup process. Save each page using the Save button. Your inverter has been set up and is ready for operation. Initial commissioning is complete and the inverter is up and running. More settings can be configured via the inverter menu or via the web server. For more details, please consult the operating manual. Thanks for watching. We wish you every success with the initial commissioning of your Plenticore G3. If you have any further questions or comments relating to the installation of your device, please contact the Coastal Customer Service Team.